see are uh, quizzes that are available. They usually have these pencils, which means you can take that quiz. You see the, you see the date of availability of, of January 17th of 2009 to whenever. So there's the, the range when you, the quiz becomes available. Other quizzes, this is obviously a little bit old. You see there's a start date and an end date when you can take the quiz. For the end date, it's always assumed uh, the beginning of class time, which most likely would be 7 p.m., but if the class is taught at 1 p.m., you'll see a 1 p.m. here. Now, as, <clears throat> as mentioned in the syllabus video, you may take the uh, syllabus quiz as many times as you want to get comfortable with it. Also notice there's a time limit uh, of 20 minutes, but if you go over, no big deal. And you need to get a perfect score on the syllabus quiz before you can take any of the other quizzes. Now, to take a quiz, first of all, it's very important you take the quiz and don't click on something you don't intend to take. It, WebCT is not very uh, forgiving. Now let's go to the syllabus quiz. Okay, well here's the syllabus quiz, an example of a quiz. In the, let me pull this down a bit. Over here in the top right, it shows you the minutes and seconds remaining on the quiz. Also, here are a list of questions, whether they're unanswered, answered, answered, or not saved. Now, for these questions, sometimes they have radio buttons, which means there's exactly one choice. Sometimes there's check boxes when there's a one or more choices. So let's say instances of cheating will result in, well, you might think it might involve jail time, so you put that there. And, uh, okay, save answer is not available in preview. Okay, I, I forgot. I'm in preview mode. Typically, if I was taking this quiz for real, I would click here, save the answer, and you'd see a little checkbox there. Now, the way WebCT I've set it up is for questions that have one or more answers, sometimes you might get partial credit, sometimes you still need exact answers. So let's say the answer here was uh, A and C. Okay, now assume I checked A and C, and if that is the correct answer, then I would get full credit. Now, for a partial answer, if I had just C and the answer was A and C, then I would get 50% credit, let's say. Other times it's all or nothing, so if, if the WebCT is looking for answers A and C and you have just C, you don't get any credit. So you'd complete the quiz, save answer, answer uh, question, save answer, and so forth. You'd see all these check boxes that would appear over there, and uh, once you see all check boxes, you can do finish. Now, once you finish, okay, that's no problem. Once you finish, you can actually, uh, I believe, view scores. Okay, and, and if you click on that, student may use this link to view his or her scores on the quiz. And you'll be able to, at the end of the quiz, to see how you have done whether or not you know you have seven out of ten and things that you missed uh, on a particular question. Now, in the event in the event that you you're curious about some of the answers I had and you thought that well I thought it was A and C and you had A and D, Dr. Bettinger. Well, what I highly recommend is that you send me an email with a particular question and then I'll respond back to you because A not all the students have taken the quiz so don't post it on WebCT and B, by sending me an email, that kind of jogs my memory. Sometimes students tell me things in the hallway, and I have a lot of students do that, so I might not always remember that. So in order to get prompt uh, response on my behalf, please send me an email if you have a question, like, or, and make it clear, like, I have a question on quiz 1.1, 1 .1, uh, question 3. And that way I know where exactly you might have an issue. So anyway... These quizzes are important to give you feedback. Please take the time to answer them. And Last thing I want to talk about in this orientation video is how to do well in this class and how to do well in life in general. Now, you have to recall something. I do not know anything about you, so when you come into this class, 
you're bringing all your history which I know nothing about. So this is a perfect chance for you to reinvent yourself and try something new. Now, I don't know about you, I really want this to be an excellent class and that's why I'm putting all this time in for these videos and the notes and so forth. Now, here's what you can do to make this an excellent class. First of all, come to class as if this is the best class you've ever had in life. So I really want you to have a really positive attitude about this class. Second thing, come to class being very inquisitive. Try and learn as much as you can. So just don't go for getting an A. See how much you can learn. And what I find is when you take that approach, you will end up doing quite well, not only in this class, but also in life. Third thing is, I'd like you to be really aggressive in this class, active participation, ask a lot of questions, sit in the front row, and just don't be afraid to ask questions. Okay, that's really important and to participate. Because what that tells me is that you're really interested in learning and it'll make for a lot better class. <clears throat> now, when I was a graduate student, what I would do is I would read the notes before class I, or I'd read the textbook, I would come to class, I would sit in the front row, I would pretend nobody else is in the class, and I would ask a lot of questions. So I invite you to take that type of approach, come to class, ask a lot of questions, and I think we'll have a really exciting class. So this is a chance for you to come to class, to kind of reinvent yourself, not be a slave to your conditioning, to try out different things, and to learn as a student. Because my experience is, uh, people that succeed you know, don't follow the crowd, they take initiative, they're not afraid to take chances. So if you do those types of things, I think you'll do quite well in this class. Also, let's see if we can have some fun in this class. Just don't put pressure on yourself. Just try and see how much you can learn and how much fun you can have, and I think we'll have a fantastic class. Now, on the last page of the orientation, it goes into a lot of details. So those are some of the highlights that I want you to come away with. Anyway, see you in the